There was a guy that asked about what the most plush fork, like the, the softest, most plush fork that we've tested or whatever. Do you want? He's looking to buy a fork. Uh -huh. um, probably the Domain. See, I, I was thinking, I mean, that might be a little bit more fork than he's looking for. But if he's well, a, if he wants plush. It's... But if he's a bigger guy, maybe. But I was thinking the RL. The Rock Shocks. Oh, yeah. The RL is super smooth. It's um, super smooth. Another one that comes to mind that's on the uh, Axum. It's the uh, Trace RC34. <laughs> My hand! Oh, my love! Oh, that's out of frame. Is that better? Am I good enough? Yeah. Alright. Wolf Tick Nation! Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. We are we're, damn we're, excited. We're, we're, we turn into the Hodge twins. Damn! Excited. Anyway, we're we're finally gonna give the scores. We are giving the scores on the X Fusion Slide 34 29 or 4 tapered head tube, aluminum steer tube. I said head tube. Tapered steer it's tube. Late. Aluminum steer tube. Uh, man, this thing has got the high speed compression, the low speed compression, rebound. It's a beautiful fork. You guys got to see the real-time review where I wrote down a Heath Creek run, and we did a whole bunch of freaking tuning on this thing. Yeah, the only thing we didn't mess with while we were there was the air pressure, which I think we should have taken one to two pounds out of it. What did I have of that? 70? 70. 70? And I, and I yeah. think it needs to be around 68, 69. So a little bit, but there's also a couple of commenters that comment some things I would like to bring into yeah, note. Yeah, well, let's talk guys, about that. Yeah, we're going to we'll be end it the with the score. Um, we're going to be talking about, uh, of course, we're going to be scoring it today, but I do want to give you guys the lineup on what this is. I'm over the against. Seat. This is the $401 um, uh, X Fusion Slide 34. Okay, so this is the $401 fork list. What it is so yeah, far? Yeah, the, the fork is not 401. The fork is actually on sale for like two hundred or two six two nine. Something like that. You guys can check out the affiliate There's, links. There, well, there's some affiliate and some non-affiliate. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we want to give you guys a variety. Yeah. Um. So uh, in first place, as of it stands right now, is our Marzocchi, the Marzocchi, uh, Marzocchi. bomber B two with a thirty four point three two. Is points. that first place? That's first place. Wow. Second place is the Rock Shocks thirty five gold thirty four point two seven. The Rock Shocks Domain, one of my favorite beefy forks. And then the Suntour Evo 35A on at a 32.66. Oh, that's right. That was a good one, too. Yeah, that one's on uh, the Marin right now, the San Quentin 3. Uh, that was the patron build. Um, those are all super top-rated forks. And this one here is the only fork that we have had that has, I guess, three different types of adjustment as far as... Well, four, four, if you count air uh, Air, high, low compression, and um, the rebound, mm -hmm. you know? Um, now, one thing I did want to state, and I wish we could go back and really mess with the dials a little bit more, because I said one of the negatives with this fork is whenever you're adjusting, I believe it was the low speed compression, um, in order to adjust the high speed compression, or vice versa, um, the knobs are on the exact same uh, portion of the fork. So I was adjusting one of them, and of course the little guy would turn with it, with the and then I would one. compensate and go back a couple of clicks. A commenter That's said, why it hey. took so long to get it dialed in. I yeah. think. But we did finally get it dialed in, and the whole point of all this anyway is it didn't affect the score. It didn't affect the score. I love the, um, the adjustability with this fork, and it mm -hmm. actually making a difference. This was one of the first forks that we really had to take time to tune, but somebody in the comments, thank you, whoever it was, uh, said, hey, Whenever you're, um, whenever you're going to be adjusting that fork, there's no need to compensate because it already is doing that internally, which is like, duh, okay, perfect, that makes sense. So you don't have to keep on thinking about where you're at. But anyway, um, overall, I enjoyed the fork. It was on the uh, Camp Mulville. We're probably going to keep on that, fork, or that, uh, that bike for a little bit longer. And then we'll probably put it on maybe a new build that we've got. Uh, maybe. I don't know, kind of looking at the idea. But that fork is a sweet fork. It's a boost fork, right? It's got the 115 or 110 by a 15 millimeter through axle. Um, I mean, not a lot of negatives as far as I can think of. The one negative that I did have was saying, man, it's kind of dumb that you have to adjust it and then you have to go back. And yeah. apparently you don't have to do that. So my negative is kind of out the window there. Well, yeah, and we didn't, uh, and that didn't, like I said, they didn't really reflect on the score, I don't yeah. think. Yeah. So. Um, all I know is it was super good in and out of the turns. You know, once we got that thing dialed in, it was beautiful because it put this, I've never experienced a fork that has the two different levels of compression. It with the low speed is like 
is is amazing when it plays with the high speed. It makes such a big difference because you'll get right off of a Savage Rock Garden. Light just went out. We'll get like, off of uh, a Savage Rock Garden, and I'll be taking it easy, and it's just hitting those small bumps. It's making sure that it's just smooth as you go, and then you're like, oh, crap, did I really set my compression for these big hits I'm about to take? You go into a nasty turn and come out on a feature, and that thing just performs so well, and just getting the whole preload and the takeoff on that was a beautiful thing. Like, it was just, it was great all around, you know? Um, really not a lot of negatives to say about the fork. I mean, one of the negatives, I guess, if you're going to buy this fork brand new when it first came out, right before it went on sale with every other website, it's 260 bucks or somewhere around there, but it's normally a $699 fork. Yeah, I don't think it's the price crazy. is bad at all with that. No, no, it's not It's not a bad price at all. The, the controls are... It's right at. below the leg on the bottom right. I don't want you to stop, but just keep going. Um, so the interesting thing is going to be where this, this fork rates. I mean... I have a, a heart emoji, and, and I have a blowing a kiss yeah. emoji. That should tell you everything you need to know. There's no poop emoji up there right now. This might go up there. Well, let's wait, and we'll, we'll go over the, the... The amount of giggling schoolgirl excitement you had... <laughs> yes! There's no way that's going up there. Guys, yeah, I mean, Trail Jesus, you've done a wonderful job on that trail, but it's about time you can take a confident bike down that trail and just let the fork do the work, you know? I was riding with a friend here recently. It's like, hey, let the bike do the work. And that fork, oh, it just, it totally brought it all together. It was a beautiful thing. Yeah, so I'm, I'm a big fan of the X-Fusion. I can't yeah, wait to you, see that you, sucker Spoiler rates. alert, you really like that fork. I really like I, that fork, I think fork, everyone guys. that watched the real-time review got that sense. Yeah, it's a great-looking fork. You know, one of the similarities I can say with that fork, what's very similar to, there's some tires out there that don't really seem all that great on the trails until you really start putting some confidence and getting rough with the tire, and it starts to perform. Oh, you're talking about the Minion SS. Minion SS. Yeah, the one ones that tires. you did not like, because the middle's made for speed, but then when you get I into hated it, those tires. And until you rode them hard. And then I started like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go all out. And once I did, they performed so yeah, well. They came and that's like this fork. Like, it, it's it's got that just beat me up and put me into corners hard, fly me over a rock garden, and I will perform for you. And just like I said, that difference between the low speed and the high speed compression is great, man. Because like I was talking Once about how good dialed. how good the fork could be, like on the, just a simple green trail that's got like rocks and roots and all that, and it doesn't overreact to any of the hits. It just soaks them in, nice and smooth all the way throughout. And then you get to the bigs, and that sucker just I mean is like a whole nother level. I think it's that really gives cool. you. So normally, what would the problem we have with forks is you either set it up for bigs or you set it up for smalls. It's an either or. And, and you kind of then you find that middle ground, so it doesn't really do either one excellent. Well, this one you were able to actually get it to where it did both of them really well yeah and the thing was what was funny was that we're, was we i don't think it. we really caught that on camera though i think we, we showed a lot but we really didn't get that part down and the thing that was funny too is like we were setting up for the triple c but little did i know with a couple more clicks we were getting it set up for hayes creek yeah. and to be able to do that without taking any air pressure out like you said and we're running at 70 yeah that's impressive and for you i think we need to drop it a couple of pounds yeah, yeah you know i get tired a lot of the times what we will do and we usually don't show it on camera i'll usually try to mention it is we will take air pressure or add air pressure on the second portion of a trail fork or on a, a fork review video a real-time review and this fork there was no need for that it was just like great you know but like i said i do i can't wait to go back now and just mess with the, i think it's the low speed the bigger of the two it might be the high speed you know, you guys can check back on the video. Um, I can just set that to wherever I want it, or set the top one first, and then ride it like that, and see if it makes that big of a difference. You know. Yeah. But it's me interesting. Um, but let's get to let's get All to right. some scores. That's what everyone's here the for. The fork's amazing. Just from riding it, where where, where do you think it's going to slot in that? And you can put the graphics up if you want. Um, to. Honestly, I think you know first place is the B two with the thirty four point three two. Okay, second's going to be the thirty five gold. That's on Gummy Worm with the thirty five four point two seven. Um, I think the adjustability and the bigs and the smalls, which are the bigs, is going to be one of the. It's a, 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 a it's at a ten right on the bigs. Well, we'll get to that. I mean, I really think that it 
did so well in all three of those departments. You know, the other ones are like looks and feel and Which and is weight. very subjective. It's all subjective, but those looks subjective. are super subjective. But I think given those three, and that's the main thing, that's like my main criteria that I'm pretty, I tried to be, you know. Now it is a little heavier in some form. It is so. a little heavier. I mean, it's 4.48, you know? not heavy at all for what it is. I'm going, I'm going to say this. Some. I think it's going to be in first place. And if it's not in first place, I'm going to say it's going to be in second place. And the reason why is because the weight difference between that and the Mars Marzocchi, Marzocchi, Bomber B2. I think it will be a weight discrepancy. So let's get to it. Let's get to it, guys. We're scoring okay, the X-Fusion the Slide 34. 140 millimeter fork, which measures yes. about 145. I never bombed it out. No, you came really close, but that's what I'm saying. We could go another pound or two out of it. Okay, so on the looks plus feel category, on the looks, you gave it a 4.5 out of 5. Yeah. Um, I'm not too crazy about uh, I'm, not, I'm not too crazy about the different colored compression. The I love it because it matches feet. everything on that bike perfect, which was an accident. But it yeah, it probably really got great. perfect five um, had it been the same color. I know yeah, that's funny. I like the two different. Colors, I just don't like the gold like and blue. It's I weird. would have given it a higher score on looks. I probably four point eight to five. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, you get a four point five on yeah. looks feel like the quality and everything you give it a perfect five out of five guys yeah the adjustment with those both of those knobs the air compression the way the it rebound, turns you're talking about not the adjustment yeah not the, the adjustment turns. the way it turns the way it feels every the clicks are very nice and smooth and another thing i really like too is a lot of the times that thing had like 35 clicks of rebound that rebound knob hit a wall going the way to the right the slower and the faster i really faster. like that rebound knob too yeah it never got weird and chunky and kind of some of them get mm. a little weird and chintzy that thing was solid yeah the feel the quality feels really what we talk about with the feel is yeah. got a perfect five out of five okay for the smalls you gave it a 4.8 out of five yeah 4.8 out of five on the smalls um and maybe maybe that had to do with not being able to adjust it or compensating you think no i i think i think you would have given it a perfect five if you would have had one to two pounds of pressure out of it i really Probably, believe yeah. that because you adjusted it there every which way you could 4.8 out of 5 on the smalls. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, you probably, you're probably correct with that statement, you know. Um, I think maybe some more pressure. And really, we didn't even fork lube that thing less up. Pressure. I think it really, yeah, less pressure. Uh, if we would add some fork lube to it and really get Which it would be in, sort of cheating. But kind we'll of do, I mean, I, I'm not against it because it's maintenance anyway. So it's like, yeah, yeah I mean, it's I wouldn't It's kind of squeaky, mind. but yeah, yeah, okay. So a little bit of lube and a pound or two out of it, I think it would have been a perfect 5. But Lose you got 4.8. Put 4. some 8. lube on it. Yeah, 4.8. Uh -huh. Yeah, calm down. Adjustment, the ability to make adjustments in the way it reacts, and obviously with the amount of adjustment opportunities on this fork, you got a perfect five out of That's five. That's a tuner's fork all freaking day. It is, day. and you all can you tune guys, it all freaking day. Yeah, all you guys that ride like cross country and you got all day to ride a bike and you really want to get that sucker dialed in, get that fork. Do yourself a favor. It, it, yeah, I mean, it, it, if you really like to tinker man. with the adjustments. It's ridiculous. Like, I wanted to just keep on sitting there messing with it, and we did. I didn't <laughs> show you guys the third run on, on the Triple C. We kept going back and forth, back There and was forth, a lot more forth. footage that got cut out. But that video was already like 28 minutes yeah, or something. Yeah, ridiculous long. Anyway, um, okay, so that so perfect 5 out of 5 on adjustment. Now, the bigs, the one everyone's interested in hearing, 10 out of 10. I give it a 10 out of 10. You give it a 10 out of 10, which... Only a few forks have got that, and this one's one of them. And the main reason I did that, guys, is for one, the preload. Okay, the preload was beautiful going into. Um, I think I remember on the Triple C, I hit like a couple little features, and I talked about, it, and it got to mess with the adjustments for the preload. The preload on the Bigs on Hayes Creek was beautiful. It just pushed all the way in, and I think part of that had to do with the low speed, and then it hitting that high speed jolt to the bottom part of the base of one of those features out there. As soon as I went to take off. The reason it got a 10 out of 10 is because when I landed, the freaking it, it felt like I was landing on a pillow. You know, it didn't it didn't rebound out real fast. It didn't suck in and stay in. It was just perfect throughout. And I think a lot of has to do with that compression, man, and just know, the, the it, adjustments. It, I mean, it it definitely did good. I mean, I'm watching it back. I agree. Like that drop doesn't that drop does not get justice no. on GoPros and stuff. No. It's a it, it's funny because when the, when the patrons went on that show, they're like, holy crap. But there's a was, big drop. It's a pretty good sized drop. And, the, and people aren't, they just have no idea until they ride Drill it. Drill Jesus to tell you with yeah. that new cutout. That was pretty cool. Um, okay, the weight was 4.8, out of which we talked about this in the last episode. Uh, 10 possible points minus 4.8 comes up to 5.52. Okay. So you have that. And then the penalty zero because it was it actually was five millimeters no i think it was 145 was it 145 i think it was yeah. in that range so it was past 140 so it doesn't matter anyway so now the total 
You ready for this? All right. I'm thinking that's going to be a second place due to the weight discrepancy. Okay. What 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 do you uh what what score do you think it's going to get? I, well, it's going to be hard to be second place because it's 34.27 on the Rock Shocks and a 34.32. I think it's going to get a 34.30. 34. Point eight two. Oh, we new, have a new leader. New leader. Thirty four point eight two. Thirty four point eight two. Boom. Damn, that's official science right there, baby. I knew the love emoji and the kissing emoji would win me over. Win, win well, you were, over. you were. I mean, there, no one was gonna think it wasn't gonna score good, but wow. I, I, yeah. I mean, that bomber fork was bad. All these forks are excellent. First yeah, of all. all those They're forks all are ridiculous. Excellent. And you can't go wrong with any of these, in my opinion. Wow. But at the same time, I think just, I think the double adjustment on the compression mixed with how well it did, I mean. Yeah, that thing is smooth, man. Yeah, it really just, I mean, that's a hard fork to be. Yeah, that is an extreme. And really, hard fork and when we add in the value, if you jump on it right now for what yeah. two ten two sixty whatever. I'm gonna find some eBay links, guys. There's a, there's some there's a, there's a stock links. on eBay that's got. Some. We'll I'm throw, add some. We'll look go through all three links. We'll probably put Amazon, eBay. If we find it on Walmart, Walmart. But then uh, we got the one cycle one or whatever. We, we'll put a variety. Some are affiliate, yeah. some aren't. Yeah. Just to, you guys don't well, listen, have to you use guys, affiliate. Yeah, you guys don't have to use affiliate. We'll put some non-affiliates up there. But if you guys feel the need to get a new fork, you know, maybe you want to work on your bike for the winter or, season. Or you know what people can do we never talked about? If you want to help your boys out, you're going to spend money on Amazon or eBay anyway. Use our link. Go on there and then get shop around and all that stuff. You don't even have to buy what you went on there for. And just when you purchase it, we'll get a small percentage and it helps us out. All right, guys. Hey, that was another Wolf Dick Videos oh. fork. I know what you're going to say. Uh, real quick. Hey, real quick, before we go, we want to give a big old shout out to our boy, Speaking our patron. Speaking of helping us out. Helped a whole bunch, uh, not only you know with some coffee support, but also helped a whole bunch with filming, and it was a great uh, addition. And, and, the cameraman. and a lot of people appreciated him, showed him some yeah. love in the comments. It's all 12 cups of coffee, a LeBron photo. Not .com. LeBron photo, man. Yes. Thank you. Uh, looking forward Been to seeing you and Tammy for a next long year. Time. Yeah, oh, uh, you guys better come out next year. Yeah, for sure. But guys, that was another Wolf Tick Videos episode. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, check out the film links in the description. And uh, if you need a fork, man, that fork's pretty legit. All right? We'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Yeah.